Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make sure a PowerPoint that you upload into your drive converts properly so it works correctly in your classroom. Usually I upload a PowerPoint and I have no issues. Everything works perfectly. But every once in a while a PowerPoint will not convert properly into class in. It doesn't tell you that it didn't convert properly but there is a way to tell before you go into the lesson and teach it that it did not convert correctly. So today I went into one of my lessons, I forgot to check because I haven't had it happen in so long that I forgot to check, but I want to save you the trouble that I had today. So you always check this before you go into class. So here I have a PowerPoint that I have uploaded into my drive. When you upload after it's completed, you're going to notice a little star in the top left corner of the box with the P. So I made a bigger picture so you can see it because it's kind of hard to see, it's a little blurry, but you could see here I have my P for PowerPoint and there's a little star. If you see that star, that means the PowerPoint converted correctly. That means you are good to go. If you do not see a star in the corner, that means the PowerPoint did not convert correctly. So if that happens, I recommend just deleting it out of your drive and uploading it again until you see that star. So now I'm gonna show you what happens if it does not convert correctly. What does it do in your class? It's not a huge issue unless you have two things that you put in your PowerPoints. And I put these two things in my PowerPoints a lot, videos and notes. So let me open two of my PowerPoints, one that converted correctly and one that did not convert correctly. So here is my correctly converted PowerPoint. So for this one, down at the bottom left, I have my list that I can scroll to a slide and I have my notes. I don't use it for all of my PowerPoints, but most of my PowerPoints, I like to have this note box open. I put the notes in when I make my PowerPoints. That way, as I'm going through the lesson, I can refer to my notes if I need to. So that's a correctly converted PowerPoint. I can see those things in the corner. I can see my notes. Now, let's look at the PowerPoint that did not convert correctly. I can still see my slides, but notice the note and the little scrolling feature to go to the skip to slides is not there. So if you don't have that star, you're not going to have access to your notes and you're not going to have access to skip to another slide. So that is an issue when it doesn't convert properly. The second thing is videos. So this is a new thing with class in. I made a video about it the other day that now you can play embedded MP4 videos directly from your PowerPoint. So again, here is my correctly converted PowerPoint, and here is my video. So I am able to click on the video and play it in my classroom. So now let's go to the PowerPoint that did not convert correctly. Same thing, I'm gonna go to, oh, this is where the video is supposed to be, and you'll notice there is no way to play the video. So if it does not convert correctly, if you do not see the star, you will still be able to see all of your slides. So if your slides are there, they will be there still, but videos will not work that you uploaded or embedded into your PowerPoint, and you will not be able to see your notes or scroll to skip to slides. So if you use those things, and there might be another issue, but so far that's the only issues I have seen when a PowerPoint does not convert correctly. But even if you don't use those two things, I would still highly recommend re-uploading it if you don't see that star, because there could be another issue that I don't know about when it does not convert correctly. So recap. If you upload a PowerPoint, after it's done uploading, always look for the star. If you don't see the star, delete it and re-upload until you do. I hope that saves somebody a lot of trouble. I need to remind myself now to always check for that star. It doesn't happen often, but the time it does, it's going to be a pain if you don't have your slides loaded properly. So hopefully this helps somebody. 
and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.